Hey guys, this is New Clown. Welcome back to another episode of Summer Source Guide Arena. Today, the spotlight is on my monsters. My rune composition, the team I feel to compete in the arena, to climb the trial of ascension, and to do normal quests in the map. But before I begin, let me tell you a story. I was farming Firemon Volcano Stage 1 yesterday, leveling up some units. I was also searching for 3 star monsters. Sometimes Fire Salamander dropped, sometimes Fire Nugami dropped. This was all part of an elaborate plan to make my first ever 6 stars. I decided to make my Zyros, my Fire Dragon, into 6 stars. I was so excited, but it was a tedious process. I realized I needed 2 more 3 star units to fuse and evolve. So I decided to do some summons. I used several unknown scrolls and surprise surprise, two 3 star units dropped in a row. This was unusual because both of them were awakened. It was an awakened wind imp and an awakened fire viking. Now this has never happened to me before. I thought to myself, was this a window of opportunity? Were the stars aligned for me? I remember reading somewhere and read it that somehow maybe the summons are tied to the server time, so I decided to test it out. I did a mystical summon immediately afterwards. And surprise, surprise, this popped up. A wind oracle. I was so happy. Thank you to the guys in channel 128. Thank you for the cheers. Thank you for the congratulations. Thank you for the support. Ever since I summoned the fire dragon, all my pools were three star fodders. And I'm so grateful for getting a Wind Oracle. Alright guys, that's it about my story. Now on to the team composition. This is Megan. I was a Mystic Witch. She's basically there every time for me in the arena. Climbing the tower. She's just really useful. So these are her stats. She has pretty decent accuracy, 53%. But her speed is what defines her. Because of a third skill, spell of strengthening, it gives your team a chance to move first. And you also gain bonus attack and defense. Now, because of the uh, special dungeon, Fire Mystic Witch, I've managed to max out all her skills. Really happy with that. Her rune setup is swift focus. So the most important thing you need to have is the second slot speed so try to get the highest star of rune available and make sure the primary stat is speed because if she moves first she's going to dominate in the arena i haven't managed to found a six star rune yet but this one i particularly like because of the substats it has accuracy percentage hp percentage and resistance percentage which are all good on support types um, you can take a look at the other runes, speed and accuracy bonuses. I run HP on my 4th slot. I'd maybe switch it out with accuracy here, but I'm sticking with this one for now because I mostly have only 3 star to 4 star runes. Okay, uh, next up is Rina. I don't normally use her as much anymore. Sometimes she's useful to our solo Fireman Volcano stage 1. These are runes. I run full energy runes. Full HP percentages on 2, 4 and 6. Runes themselves are not amazing. But she has pretty nice stats. Some good defense, some good HP. Pretty tanky. Next is uh, my Water Ninja. He is one of the bearers of my 6 star runes. So there you go. Plus 15. Attack energy rune. So I run fatal energy here. Attack on 2, 4 and 6. These are his stats. Um, he's pretty good. His attack is actually greater than my Fire Dragon's attack. Sitting at 1.7k, which is really nice. Next is Fire Dragon. 
uh, I decided to go with Fatal Focus on him. Uh, I'm, I run Speed on 2, Attack on 4, and More Attack on 6. Most of these runes are plus 12, except for Speed, which is plus 9. Now, he hits pretty hard, but that's because I put a lot of effort into maxing out his skills. All my Devilmons I put into this guy. So he's maxed out his third ability, close to maxing out his second and first skill as well. So he's almost complete. I'm planning to change his runes into speed energy because I feel that his speed is relatively poor. And um, Zyros is all about his third skill. If he manages to get this off in the arena, you basically maybe win half the fight already because they cannot retaliate. All the skills are on cooldown. So I think I'm going to use speed next to this guy. In terms of uh, the Fire Nugami, these are his stats. It's not really good because uh, most of his runes are plus 6. But he <laughs> you can see his effectiveness in the Trial of Ascension even with plus 6 runes. So I run Energy and Fatal with attack percentages on 2, 4, 6. Uh, you can easily max out his skills. I haven't done it, I need the 3 more Inugami to be fused, but it's really easy to max out his skills, just find more Inugami and fuse into him. You can farm him in uh, Firemon Volcano Stage 1. Uh, this is my Light Bearman. His skills are not maxed out either, but it's pretty high up there. These are his stats, he has roughly 1.6k health, that gives him about 2.5k heal. His defense and attack are really good. Uh, his crit rate, sorry, uh, is 80%. Not 100%, because sometimes I may want him not to crit when facing Rena. These are his runes. I run with 4 energy and 2 blade. Most of his runes are pretty high level. So it's HP on 2, crit rate on 4. This is crucial. You need a crit rate rune on the 4th slot because this is the only one available which can increase the crit rate and uh, on the 6th I run HP I also have some substats with crit rate on the other runes which help boost this crit rate up to 80% which is a nice figure to have right so this is my light bandman next is my hmm my light vigor bond so you see him quite a lot i mainly use him for the third skill decreases damage all allies receive by 15 percent his his skills are maxed it's really easy to max his skills guys you can find a vega bond in the magic shop you can farm him you can drop him from unknown scrolls it's really easy to max out his skills um his rune setup i run full hp full energy runes Plus 12, 5 star rune on slot 1. On slots 2, 4, 6, I run defense on 2, HP on 4, and more HP on 6. So he has a lot of uh, accuracy substats in the uh, secondary rune stats. Accuracy, some more accuracy. So this makes him hit his uh, skills and proc their secondary effects such as a uh, defense break or decreased attack so he has roughly 40% accuracy which is good enough for me he's still 4 star so he has the potential to be greater here ok guys so those are the runes for the team I normally field once I complete my rune setup for the other guys I will post them as well um, well, that's about it for me. See you guys. This is New Crown signing off.